Hello, Tim Bruin. My name is Nathan Lerner. And I'm Annika Storms, guest anchoring from Digital Media. Today's newscast will also feature several stories reported on by me and other members of Digital Media. A few weeks ago, after weeks of concerns with behavior and trash cleanup, the entire school had den time taken away. Let's go to Nathan for an update on how den time is doing and more information on the different stages of the program. Hello, Tim Rulin. My name is Nathan Lerner. I'm from WHTV News. A couple weeks ago, den time was taken away from the whole school because of trash. Let's go and see how den time is doing since we got den time back. There are three phases of the shutdown for den time. The first shutdown is where certain areas get shut down. The next phase is phase one, where lunch is split into two lunches based off of hallways. The last phase, which is phase two, is where lunch is split into four lunches, according to Miss Hain. During den time, Miss Hain wants to see kids doing the right thing and making sure if they see trash, they're picking it up. She also wants to see leaders developed in this school, according to Hain. Well, I think it's had a tremendously positive impact on students. They got some free time. They got some downtime. They're able to kind of take a breath in the middle of the day, which is extremely helpful for them to be able to be engaged after lunch um, and continue to be involved. And that's kind of what we're wanting to see. For more information about Den Time, you can check the Timberland website. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Nathan. Besides academics, this year there are more clubs than ever at THS, with many meeting during Den Time. Two returning clubs are Animate and GSA. From Digital Media Class, Jolie Janot and I have more. Anime Club and Activity is a club for people who love anime and want to talk about it. You can join even if you don't watch anime and want to watch it. Everyone is welcome. So we have two meetings a month during den time. Those are the first and third Monday. Anime Club is in room 253 here at THS and has been going strong ever since. Anime is a style of TV show. It's like an animation style that a lot of people enjoy. It's really good. It's kind of dramatic, but I love it. It's, I, I live for the drama. Um, and it's just, it's, it's basically an art style, I'd say. Anime is a Japanese style cartoon that is featured in Japan or anywhere else in the country. I joined Anime Club because I like anime and I thought it sounded fun and the people there are obviously super nice so I, I, I like it. I just enjoy seeing a ton of people like come and I just love being able to watch anime with other people and my friends and we all get to make jokes about it. Um, we also like doing all the activities with one another. Some anime clubs activity done are watch an EP or two of an anime, game days, kahoot, different drawings to show each other, hang out time to talk and discuss about anime and books to read. For new anime watchers, I would go with kind of like not a plot heavy anime, it's probably something like The Disastrous Life of Psychic, because like that one's like funny, the animation's good, but at the same time there's not like a lot of plot. It's Movies probably like uh, Whisker Away or Your Name. I think those would be fantastic animes for you to watch with great style and great story. Future anime members, give it a chance. I know a lot of people are like, ew, I don't like anime or ew, it's like full of nerds. Blech. No, it's fun. It's like, it's just a club of friends and it's just, it's amazing. Having this club at Timberland, um, it's a great way to be a part of the actual school, great way to actually have activities um, instead of just going home and not doing anything at all. Um, it's a great way to make friends. And anyone is welcome to Anime Club. As a reminder, winter break starts on December 20th and ends January 2nd. That's only 12 days away. Finals will be after break this year, January 11 to 13. In other academic news, one of the many off-campus programs offered at THS is called CAPS. With a rigorous application process, this program allows accepted students from all St. Charles County High Schools to participate in real-world scenarios in the business and healthcare fields. Here's Elijah Wolf from Digital Media Class with all the details. Students begin their journey through the St. Charles County CAPS program by learning how to present an elevator pitch. Hi, my name is Shalene Patel. I'm a senior at Ford's Wall East High School, and I'm part of the CAPS program and the Technology Solutions Strand. CAPS, the Center for Advanced Professional Studies program, immerses students in professional environments where curriculum is developed by industry professionals, ensuring what we learn in the classroom is relevant to the workforce. They've helped me develop 
better communication skills. I learned how to like shake a hand properly, how to dress, how to act. Uh, during the CAPS program, you can gain the professional skills and learn how to dress business professional and casual and like dinner etiquette skills. During the first semester of the program, Associates will listen to guest speakers and go on side visits to a variety of local companies and businesses. My favorite guest speaker had to be Aaron Gomez so far. He had this presentation and it had every single place you could go within cybersecurity and it helped me think like, wow, my opportunities are endless in that even if I don't like what I'm doing right now, I'll always have a career within technology. My favorite side visit has been Master Clock. Seeing how they make these precision clocks that have been used at NASA and other big companies like MLB, NBA, seeing how they create these precision systems and the process that they do to create them is just amazing to me. Associates will also work with companies on projects. Uh, currently, I'm working with Disco, which creates these experiences where people can book with them and they plan the whole event for them. We're working on the UI or the user interface so that the clients can have a more satisfactory uh, experience booking events and there's more variety on what they can do with the events. Over kind of having a weighted class, CAPS kind of takes the edge on that because these skills, you'll kind of value them for the rest of your life. You'll get a job in the future, and even in 20 years, 30 years, you'll still use these skills. But a weighted class might look good for college, a little bit of a boost on your GPA, but you won't really get these skills of like how to interview, how to dress, or how to do your research before going into an interview, stuff like that. And now for sports. Madison Smith, guest reporter from Digital Media, has a wrap up of the fall volleyball season. With Timberland's 20th anniversary being celebrated this year, the girls' volleyball team is staying strong. Girls' volleyball is a fall sport here at THS. There are currently three teams, including freshmen, JV, and varsity. This year's varsity team has accomplished many goals. Here are a few of them. As a coach, I was fortunate enough uh, at one of our tournaments to earn my 200th victory as a coach, so that was pretty cool. Many girls on the team have accomplished many goals this season. Here are a few from some of the players on the team. I have been on all-conference academic last year, so I was really excited about that. Looking at stats, I'm number one for aces. Um, I have over a thousand assists. I also organized um, our pink night this year, and it was very cool to see the reactions that everyone else had, and it just was a lot of fun that night. Now that you've heard some of the team's accomplishments, Megan will share how she feels playing on the court. I feel like it's very exhilarating and I have a lot of good moments from the court and it just makes me a better person. For the past years, many of the girls have chosen to further their volleyball career in college. Here is what Megan and Zoe have done. I'm committed to Webster University as a outside and defensive specialist. I'm playing beach volleyball at USC. Um, I just love it so much that I can't let it go this early and it's just a really good school and it's very competitive there. The Timberland volleyball team is always looking for new players each season, whether it's varsity, junior varsity, or the freshman team. Harman can tell you a little about it now. If they go to the school's athletic website, uh, there's lots of information there. They can also follow us on Twitter. It's a lot of fun to come out and watch. Uh, so if you don't have anything, typically on a Tuesday or a Thursday evening in the fall, come out and, and check us out. It's a lot of fun and, and some, some high-paced action. Timberland Volleyball played 14 matches total, and Timberland's volleyball team is ending the season with many accomplishments for both the coaches and the players. Their last game is on October 13th at Timberland in the Big Gym. Welcome back. I love watching Christmas movies, and apparently, so do many others here at THS. Let's go to Aiden, who interviewed many THS students and staff, to find out their holiday favorites. Watching holiday movies is important to getting into the holiday spirit. According to YouGov.com, watching holiday movies is 75% of Americans' favorite thing to do during the holidays. Now, what's Timberland's favorite? Uh, my favorite Christmas movie is probably The Grinch because I relate the most to him. Elf, because I don't know, he's big. Uh, Elf, because he eats meatballs with um, gumballs with spaghetti, isn't it? I think. My favorite Christmas movie is The Elf because it is a very funny movie and they have a snowball fight in it. Did you know Home Alone was written in just one week and has been crowned the most popular Christmas movie of all time? while also reaching $476.7 million in the box office, according to the Irish Post. 
Uh, probably Home Alone because it's funny. My favorite Christmas movie is most definitely Home Alone. Uh, honestly, it's an all-time classic. You know, you can never get enough of those two dudes just getting beat up by a little kid. I mean, some of the traps he comes up with, man. Just how can you not have a good time with that? So, most definitely Home Alone. My favorite Christmas movie would probably be Home Alone. And the reason why is because it's funny. Probably Home Alone. It's just the one I've always watched as a kid. And my favorite Christmas movie is Home Alone. What do the burglars in Home Alone call themselves? Stay tuned to the end to find out. My favorite Christmas movie is The Christmas Story. Uh, my probably favorite Christmas movie would be uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, my favorite Christmas movie is Santa Claus, and it's because it's so funny. Uh, my favorite Christmas movie would have to be Santa Claus, because uh, just uh, the character himself is just so funny. My favorite Christmas movie is Polar Express, because it is the most nostalgic Christmas movie I can think of, and I can't think of any others at the moment. My favorite movie is uh, Christmas movie is Polar Express, because, I don't know, it's just nostalgic. I've watched it all my life, and I've always enjoyed it. The Polar Express, because uh, I always used to watch it with my family around Christmas time. According to Psychology Today, the reason we love Christmas movies so much is because it gives our brain pleasure and makes us happy. It also gives us a sense of nostalgia with being with family and friends during the holiday season. The answer to the trivia is the Wet Bandits. I'm Aiden Brewer, reporting, now back to the studio. And, looking forward, Boys basketball is gearing up for what they hope will be a strong season. Coming up tomorrow is their game against North Point at 7 p.m. Let's go to Nathan to learn more about the boys basketball team goals. Hello, my name is Nathan Lerner. I'm from WHTV News. Basketball season is coming up right around the corner. Let's go to learn more about the boys basketball team goals for this season goals in that regard yet I think as a coach my goal is for us to try to get better each day all year long obviously we want to try to win every game you want to try to compete for a conference championship you want to be playing your best basketball at the end of the year trying to you know compete for a district championship as well on the boys basketball team there are a lot of guys coming back according to coach DeWeese uh probably when I scored my first varsity points last year versus Holt because everybody went like nuts and we won that game so yeah the boys basketball team has nine home games this year the first home game for this season is on december 9th against north point here at 7 p.m now back to the studio that's all for the holiday edition of whtv's newscast thanks for watching and remember don't have a good day, Timberland. Have a great day.